Hello YouTube Fred, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis, I hope you're doing well today. Um, in this video, I want to show you a very um, um, nice feature of the Prodigy GX system, and it's also available with the Prodigy WX platform, and basically the programming steps for this system will be the same. Um, it's, it's a feature called access level outputs. Okay, so you can have one or multiple outputs activated. Um, you know, the, the idea is, uh, for specific users, maybe with specific needs, could be someone um, that has a disability that they need more time to uh, go through a door or they need the door to open automatically for them. Uh, so that's basically the example I'm going to use for today. Um, but also, um, you can use this to turn on, you know, let's say, lights when someone badges at the door. And, you know, there's a whole lot of different applications that you can uh, achieve with this feature okay so it's called the access level output okay there's a few steps that needs to be followed all right so just to give you an idea um, today what I did is I created an access level for the main entrance door and one for the employees doors what I want is when I badge on the employees door reader um, I want the output to activate for three seconds simulating um, activating a relay to trigger a door opener okay so basically for specific users uh, when they badge the card, it will not only unlock the door, but it will open the door for uh, for them, okay? So I created a, a status page with the output, so you can see that it's triggering when I badge my card, okay? And uh, I'll show you how to create, you know, or and program the access level, the reader expander, um, and then we'll test it, all right? So let's have a look at how we uh, need to, all the steps, sorry, we need to achieve to program this feature, okay? Again, it's called the access level output. Um, available with the Prodigy GX and WX systems from ICT. All right, so from the home page, um, the first thing you want to do is to define an output that you want to use. Um, you know, from a previous video, I had created a, a list of you know 16 outputs to be virtual outputs. Um, you know, just to show you the change of state of the output. Uh, in the real world, if it's basically for a door opener, you will basically trigger a, a, a relay out of the main controller or maybe out of a, a PRT a PX8 DIN, which has eight relay outputs for uh, for this kind of application. Okay, so in this list here, I took this output and I called it door op operator for employees. Okay. So that's the first step. Also, in the reader expander properties, okay, in this case, I'm using reader port number two for the employee entrance door. So I go to reader two here. Um, again, to get there, it's under um, expanders and reader expanders, okay? So under reader two at the bottom here, you'll see um, there's the activate access level output option here, okay? So this is here, um, you know, the fourth option from the bottom, okay? So ac activate access level. So basically, you're telling the system, on that reader port, if a user has the access level output feature enabled in the access level, we will activate the output that is assigned to the access level. Okay? Again, it can be an output or multiple outputs. Okay? The second step is to go to users and access levels. Okay? So what I did is I created an, a, a, an access level just with the employee entrance door. Okay? So if I were to put multiple doors in this access level, then the output would trigger on different doors. So that's not what you want. If you want to have, let's say, the employee entrance door to trigger an output and then another door to trigger a different output, then you will need to um, create the separate access levels, okay? Um, so you see under this, uh, this access level here, under the general tab, you have the reader act access activates output, okay? And I decided to use three seconds for the activation type. If we're just giving a pulse to a door operator, maybe one second is enough. In this case, I just used three seconds so we can see the status change on, in my status list later when we test it, okay? The, also, we need to go under outputs to put you know, the output that we want to trigger uh, on that door. But you can also have a group of outputs if you, have to, you, know, if you want to activate a bunch of these outputs, okay? All right, so again, I created an access level for that. You see the main entrance one does not have the uh, reader activates output feature, okay? Obviously, the last step here, I picked one of my users and assigned the two access levels here, okay? So in this case, if I go to your, my, uh, sorry, if I go to the monitoring page for this test, okay, you see the door operator output is off. And if I badge on the main entrance, you know, the main entrance will go unlocked and then back to lock position, but the output did not trigger. Okay, if I badge on the second port, on the second door here for employee entrance, you'll see that the output will activate time for three seconds. Okay, and you can see from the event list exactly what's going on. 
okay? Um, again, this is basically how we can activate outputs based on access levels, okay? Um, we can activate these outputs on reading uh, a card reader. We can also activate access level outputs when you log in on a keypad. So let's say someone will punch in the code, press enter, and then the system will activate the output that is associated with that user. Okay, uh, so, sorry, with the access level, sorry about that. Okay, so again, this was how to um, create this logic of output activating on specific access levels. Um, again, it's, I think it's a very useful feature. I, I hope you like the video. Uh, remember, in Access is the uh, proud Canadian distributor of ICT products. Uh, if you need help, support, uh, sell support, you can visit the Nexus.com website and then we will help you for sure. And again, hit the like button, the subscribe button on the channel. Uh, we want you to receive notifications. We have new videos, which is, you know, several times a week. All right. So have a good one. Thanks for watching. Fred Bergeron from Inaxis.